your mitts out of my mashed potatoes. Hmm. I have a question. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. That's not the question. <sighs> What's the question? What kind of spick name is Melville? He's Guatemalan. Maybe his mother reads books. Books? You know, the author, Herman Melville. He wrote Moby Dick. Porn crap, huh? Porn? Dick, duh. Oh, quick, open the door. I see your nephew. He's bringing in the tree. Huh. Well, that's a puny one. <laughs> it's almost seven feet. We used to have him so tall, we had to cut a hole in the second floor. Come on, Melville. Let me put this in the corner over by the TV. Uh, uh, why don't you unravel the lights? How am I supposed to unravel this mess? Well, this year, when you take the uh, lights off the tree, why don't you um, not roll them in a ball? These are your lights. You should have checked them before I boxed them. Oh. Damn. One is blown, doesn't work. How are you supposed to know which one is blown out? You need more wood? I prick it in. No, actually, we're OK. Um, I think we're done for the day. Why don't you uh, wash up before you leave? Use a sink in the mud room. I can't believe you pay some illegal. Well, who else is going to chop the wood? Illegal is illegal. You're aiding and abetting a crime. With the price of oil, we have to use the wood stove. And who else is going to, to cut and split the logs or, or help me spruce up and paint the rooms for the holiday? I would. But my arthritis, my balance is off, and no ladders for me. My better half is afraid of heights. How you can work in that Manhattan skyscraper every day is beyond me. There's no windows in his office. They save those for executives. Perfect capitalism. Are you trying to say that everyone in communist countries gets a window? Nobody gets windows. Well, I paint, but I'm so busy with the Christmas shopping and baking. Tiffany, Tiff could do it. <laughs> Our resident princess thinks getting up in the morning to work. I still think you're taking a risk. That spit could be a terrorist. That's ridiculous. They work undercover. Oh, yeah. Melville, deep undercover. For seven years, he's been planting grass in the spring, mowing in the summer, raking leaves and hauling logs in the fall, and helping me spruce up for the holidays. What's your point? That you think for a while he's been planning to put a bomb under the Christmas tree. He works with fertilizer, paint thinners, combustibles. He wields an ax. Could be making a bomb. That's ridiculous. Timothy McVeigh did it with fertilizer. And he's an American citizen. He didn't do it alone. Oh, yeah. Help with some right-wing nuts, I expect. Or mister. I'm starved. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. <laughs> she said that five minutes ago. Tiffany Johnson, get down here now. Oh, oh, drive Melville quick before everything gets spoiled. On my way to get the tree, there was a... Uh roadblock on Main Street. An accident? No, no. They waved me over. Who's they? Assemblyman Ballsy and his bully boys. What did he want? Yeah, he had posters calling for federal action on the illegal immigrants. Least ways somebody got sense. They were taking pictures of you know, drivers and license plates of people who were letting off the day workers, the Polaroids. Intimidation. Illegal is illegal. Since I had the tree, they let me pass. Mm -hmm. I go. Uh, Melville, I can only take you as far as the town line. And then after that, you gotta walk the rest of the way. Oh, we owe Melville $85. You're contributing to the downfall of America. We're becoming a third world melted culture. That's multi cultural. Anyways, these, these lights, these lights are made in China. It don't work. Tiffany Johnson, get down here now. Here you go, Melville. This should do it. Hundred? No. Too much. I uh, round it up. 
Besides, you hardly stop for lunch. Speaking of food. Oh, Melville, why don't I make a sandwich for you that you can take home? Why doesn't Mel stay for dinner? Yeah, sure. Stay. Just lost my appetite. Hey, you gotta eat somewhere. Come on, be a guy. Don't think, eat. Yeah, get another table setting. Melville, you sit over there. Your mother? She make uh, roast beef? Maybe. Perhaps. Don't you people ever give a straight answer? Did she or didn't she? Rice and beans, mostly. I forgot. That's what you people eat instead of food. Guatemalans have a great history. A thousand years ago, they built pyramids, they had a written language, a calendar. Yeah, it predicted the end of the world. December 21st, 2012. Our world ended when we didn't close the borders. Let's eat while it's hot. Should have built higher walls. Mel. Enough. Unk. Mel, do the Mayans really think the world is going to end on December 21st, 2012? Well, I'm not buying gifts until December 22nd, just in case. <laughs> you can give me my presents on Thanksgiving before Armageddon. That way, it, it won't be a total waste. Either the world ends or it doesn't. <laughs> That's a weird name, Melville. Was that your alias, Melly? From a book. Told you, Unc. A Moby Dick is not porn. You were eavesdropping? He was eavesdropping. Anyway, how do you know whether it's porn or not? I read the book. Oh. Really? You read Moby Dick? I crammed Cliff Notes. Failed the test. Oh, we saw the movie with Gregory Peck on the Classics Channel. You read the book, huh? No, no way, way, Jose. Call me Ishmael. Ah, see? He's an Arab, pretending to be a Puerto Rican. He's Guatemalan. They all look alike. He quoted the first line of the book. Famous. Oh. Well, let's hear the second line, Ishmael. I don't remember. Ah! Not the brightest bulb, huh? Speaking of which, we need a new string of lights when you go out. These are crap. Your English is getting real good, Melville. Uh, what's it been since he came to town? Uh, six years? Eight. Uh, you hardly understood a word. I learned. Oh, yeah? What school? TV. Sesame Street. Then The Simpsons. Later, uh, English Second Language class. Now the library. Uh, the senora starts misreading Dr. Seuss. After a few years, uh, she gives me books. And you wonder why I never vote yes on the additional funding for the library. <laughs> Ever read Catch in the Rye? No. Not <laughs> on that time, Tiff. I was hoping you could help me with a book report. I would read it. You'd like to read? A book a month. And you work every day? Ten hours or more. I hope. Seven days a week? Don't you ever get a day off, like when it rains or if it snows on a winter Sunday and there's no work? I read. You ever get into the city? Maybe once. You've got to see the city during the holidays. There's Rockefeller Center. Oh, yes, they have a huge tree. It's always beautiful every year. And a skating rink. You can rent skates. <laughs> There's the Empire State Building all lit up with Christmas colors. Yeah, remember to get the uh... lights. Anyway, did you see it? 
I see Empire State from the bottom. How about Times Square? I walked there. Well, what about uh, the Museum of Natural History? Oh, it's right next to Central Park. You could spend a whole day there. <laughs> a week and not see it all. They have an IMAX. Awesome. Gem exhibits? Yeah, exhibits about people from all around the world. Well, they were? Yeah, and dinosaurs. That, of course. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> There's a terrific planetarium with star shows. Yes, the museum is a must-see. It's, it's a perfect nasty day activity. Yes. Yes. I go. I'll draw you a map. Sure. Not draw. I map quest at the library computer. You can use my computer after dinner. I don't think so. Is it the money? It, it's not expensive. I don't think so. Just a small donation. I don't think so. What is it, Mel? Mel? They may ask what I did. I think maybe I go home now. I'll get my coat. Please come Saturday after New Year's. We'll be taking down the tree. We've got Santa and the reindeer on the roof, and, and Mister's afraid of heights. I don't think so. Well, how about that Sunday? I don't think so. Well, when can you come? I go home now. To Guatemala. Oh, Mel, they don't ask for ID at the museum. Is it ballsy? I don't want any trouble. I'm not a troublemaker. A bomb maker? Enough, Unc. Dear, there's got to be something we can do. You gotta get legal, Mel. A day late and a penny short. We can adopt him. Oh, I'll kill myself. Oh, that's a great idea, Tim. Get on the computer and find out everything you can about adoption. I always wanted to have a son, and Unc's room will be available soon. N no adopt. I already have a mother. Well, we could marry, and then you could get a green card. I saw it in a movie. I have a girlfriend in Guatemala. We talk on the internet. Safe to be married. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is wish you luck. Write to us? Yes. Promise? Yes. That's it! You're out of here! Yes. I walk home now. Better for you. No picture. Melville, you have been a gift to our family. And we're really going to miss you. I miss my American family. If you ever read Catching the Rye, write and tell me what it's about. I will create this sketcher. <laughs> I go home now. Wait. I'm driving you to your door, Melville. It's the least I could do. And I don't give a damn about ballsy or any pictures. Or a Scrooge of Stooges. The bully boys. Grinch bastards. Yeah. Tiff. Sorry. Bye, Mel. You're the man. And the likes to work, uncle, you must first plug them in.
Hasta el valle que la nieve cubrió Los pastorcillos quieren ver a su rey Le traen regalos en su humilde surrón Ropo pom pom, ropo pom pom Nacido en un portal de Belén 